Well, good morning, everybody. This is CCTV. Chris speaking live. Today is Monday. We are at East Lake. East, 90%. Okay, so we are east. I want you to look at this, this little thing here. This planet. I had to make a couple adjustments on my sound. Anyways, guys, this is Beast Lake, facing east, and it was just so obvious to me what we're looking at here. Um, I just wanted to bring this to you. Do a little filtering on it. Now, you got all the signs of a planet being up in here. And I'm going to say, because of R2 being so big, that we're possibly looking at R2. Okay, so let me show you a few freaky filters. Uh, nothing too freaky. Like this one would be nice. More like the original. Here's your original. Let's go dark. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also notice, guys, you got this purple um, triangle behind there. So. Here's the original. You can see it pretty clear. See it? So good morning. This is your intro. Right to the point. See that triangle? I'm gonna decloud that later, okay? Well, wake up. Like my funky music. So here we go. Next every ten every ten minutes, the next shot. See the triangle still in there? So what's funny about the triangle, I could have always have thought and wanted to think that these were just lens flares, but I did the declouding on it last time, and there was a city behind it, and it was just strange, right? So, anyways, this, um, these clouds you must see, um, they're always fun to show, auto-correct it, you see the green reflection? I'm not adding no color, it's just the colors that are there. You see the blue reflection up there? I really believe this is, you know, the whole thing is R2. Here's another one. Let's see if we can find us a quick filter. Uh, people get mad because they say, well, Chris, if it's that big, come on, man, that's just ridiculous. You're delusional. All right, well. You know, you're here and being as delusional as I'm being because you're looking for it and you're looking at my channel saying, could this be it? Right? So, call me delusional. Um, <laughs> look at this. I'm not delusional. Here's the original. Ready? It's still there, no matter how, how you slice it. The big triangle thing is still there. And could that be, you know, another one? of what we saw last time. These are just dehazing filters. And you go back to the original. Auto-correct color. Okay. Pretty sobering. We'll go to the next one. This is what I caught yesterday morning. One after another. It just floats right over the sun, or the sun simulator. That's what I'm curious about right there. See that? Doug says he finds strange stuff. You guys, uh, sometimes I don't even want to go to the camera, it's just so strange. Still got that green in there, no matter how you slice it. You guys want to see faces and clouds? You could actually see a number of things. The imagination works with this stuff, so be careful with that when you're showing stuff. Don't be, you know. But that triangle, guys, kind of mind blowing. So, without further delay, I'll be back. Okay. Here we go, guys. Well, everybody doing all right? Did you guys go to my uh, sleeping video? My Aurora video. That Aurora video will help you sleep. For sure. I should.
should have used it last night. But I didn't. I used it. I actually fell asleep while making it a couple times. Um, when I showed that video last night, I wanted to see how long before someone says I'm tired of going to sleep. Bye. <laughs> and uh, one of the chatters said that. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> so it did its job. I don't know. I don't think that's a lens square. Skies are a trip, right? shot. I didn't know I was going to do this morning. I kind of woke up and woke my whole house up and put everybody in disarray. And uh, The battle belongs to the Lord. Anyway, that's what I get for putting out a sleep video to help people sleep. I get my ass whooped. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I think that's the first time I cursed on my channel. I had a rough morning. I think I made everybody else have a rough morning. That's okay. Look at that guy. Look at that thing. Let's see. Um, if there's any way I could... Nah. I don't know what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out a way to, to um, filter that. But look at this right here. Not these two objects. Those are the lens squares. This up here, greenish. Right. So I got a lot of these pictures every 10 minutes, a whole day, just, I mean, a whole morning. Uh, Lake Diesel, Canada. It's in Canada somewhere. If you go to the FAA cams, you'll find it. Look at this picture here. So real. One of the things these filters do is like, okay, if I start out, let me show you. Okay, and I just say auto correct it and let's go with two signs three okay so it's highly dehazed let's make it sharper let's take some of the noise out so it's got a chemtrail there See the distraction, somehow they're floating this thing, this floating city, whatever it is. One guy says, you know, don't believe anything I say because I, you know, I'm talking about this could be an angel. And well, it could be. I've not showed you a video with angels in it, so no lie. I mean, you don't have to believe me, that's it's up to you. Look, guys, little red planet, what are you doing out there? Yeah, let's check that out. So this is kind of like a hunt, you know? Little red plaza, as close as I can get to it. But I got waves. Let's see if we could do something with that. Now, we've seen a really big red planet like yesterday. as close as I can get to it. There it is. So you know, um, that's probably about 175 times. Autocorrect the color. It's a planet. It ain't no orb. It ain't no lens flare. Stop that. Not a lens flare. Okay. Let's walk it back. Let's show you what I did. Each process. 
okay, part two on this. So I'm gonna show you each process, guys. Stepping it back. If you just watch part one, you know where we're at. If you're not, well, just watch. We just got done filtering the sky. I found this little red spot. Okay. Let me show you. That's it right there. So I started doing some exposing. It's there. Anyways, back to the original. This is a planet, guys. That is a little red spot. And that is some kind of a something a kind of cover up there on that city I declouded which I'm going to do at the end of this video it might be a three part video thing looking I'm going to say something about this if you go to the original It just clears everything up, right? I ain't making nothing new. But notice how the bluish green haze is down there. Just kind of interesting. That light source right there. Pay attention. That's what I tell myself. Pay attention. Very hint, but when you use this filter, it just brings it out. It ain't adding the color to it, it's just enhancing the colors that are there. This is our normal dehaze filter. Okay, now as this thing comes in, watch how it develops, guys. It's insane looking. Crazy, right? Okay, I'm going to do a little. So these two videos, I'm going to just stay on this. Pretty interesting. It's passing right there. The planets. I don't have my Samuel Hoffman picture up, but I'll bring it up in a minute. Or maybe not. You guys been around. If you haven't been around long enough, just go back on the videos. You'll start learning as you go. A lot of you guys know what you're looking at. Samuel Hoffman model. This is the planet up here. I'm still going to stick with R2. Or R2 could have passed. So this could be R2 just coming in closer. Or past the clouds already. Here's your little red moon or planet. If that was a lens flare. Oh. You see this right here. Let's do something here. Notice the line right there. I know. If it's that big, we should be dead, right? Let me see if I could de uh, decloud that right now. Okay, so here we are at my erasing station. Let's see what we could do. I don't know if there's a city behind this, but let's just see. I'm going to erase the whole thing with this freehand um, I got to get around it I'm going to take this whole reflection or whatever it is out of the picture I don't know if there's going to be anything behind it we'll find out no nope. this is part of it up here nothing behind this so false flag on that one but notice that down here we've seen that green planet before right let's check that out ok 
Okay, I brought it back over here into my other station. You can still see hints of it, but it's pretty much was a distraction. This is a light bulb, guys. Don't worry about that. This is what I'm interested in. Let's turn the lights down. Ready? Strange, isn't it? What I'm doing here is I'm separating that as a separate picture and I'm going to re, re filter it. I think I left it in here. Okay, I'm back. I found it. I'm going to auto correct the colors again. Put the auto correct back off. I brought the light back up. What I'm trying to do here is see if this is a real planet right now. But I want to look for these. Look for anomaly. separate it. Once you get the light too bright, you got to back it up to where you can see it good. So bring the lights down. What I'm trying to do is turn the lights down on it and uh, separate it. Anyways, you tell me if that's not two planets there. Alright, next picture. Enough of that. So you know there's nothing behind this uh, giant kite here. But maybe if it has the light in the middle of it, it's a better pick. <laughs> this is what I found on December 13th. Um, notice this up here. Like that Canadian flag flying. See that up there? Hercules, the giant gas giant planet right there. Watch. It's behind the sun. Or... There you go. See it sticking out? That's the gas giant. There it is. I'm using this uh, 4th of July filter. Puts it in a green mode. Is that not trippy or what? It's not the sun, guys. Okay, there's going to be a part three on this, I guess. <laughs> I don't care if there's five parts. But I'm doing it this way on purpose. Uh, people don't make it to the end of my video, so I'll be back. Part three coming. Welcome to part three. I'm going to autocorrect that. 
Now put these up in sequence, guys. Let's go back to blue. I like the blue sky better. Check out that little triangle in the sky. Anyways, this was in um, Canada, of course. Okay, guys. I just turned the music off for a second. We're in uh, Attawa, Pisca, south, 180 degrees at 12 noon. Let's go back to our green 4th of July one and uh, filter. And, and this can not be anything but the gas giant behind the sun. My take. What's your comment? I mean, you know it ain't the sun. Maestro. Okay, let me get my music back. So this is my little 10 minute clips. When I do something like this, I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm on three right now. Um, check out this. Giant for Berculus. Surreal. Now, this picture right here, we're in Angon. This is Alaska. Uh, I could tell the difference in Alaska because I show you this stuff up here, plain English. But um, he got this do a little Ken's filter on it. This is just dehazed. It's definitely something up there. Nat Cloud. I won't spend much time on this one. There's the original. Okay. Now, another one of these shots. This is all the stuff I caught yesterday. Of course, I showed you this in the beginning on part one. Part one, I showed you this. Here's something very interesting to my... To my recollection. Look at this thing. It's pretty foggy. It's a fast filter, but... Just like the planet's almost touching the earth, you know? So I noticed a, <clears throat> a lot of strange things happening yesterday, like right here. This is in the east. We're looking at this planet in Diesel. Diesel Lake. Oh, look at this. I want to check out this thing. Could be a rock or a planet. Tell me, looks like a moon or something. What kind of Hawaiian music is that? I think right here there's that maybe a lens flare, or that's a red planet we were looking at. That's like a little green one right there. Okay. Clarity control, sometimes it'll bring this stuff right out, separates it like rocks. I think that's definitely something, and that's definitely something. Nice, right, you be the judge. That's crazy, isn't it? All yesterday morning. Um, now we're looking south. Okay. Gotta pay attention. Just gonna blew it up. There you go. Look at south. You got this light source. And this light source. A little bit more on that one. Take it 
back to the beginning of this mess. These are just strange. I'll end this video with this thing right here. Strange, right? Strange, ain't it? Don't tell me you don't see anything. These are just interesting. Uh, I think there's stuff coming down in them, but you know I can't prove it. There's a point I'm gonna get you to right there. See that? what that was. I'll try to bring it out. It almost looked like a boat to me. Crazy. Do the clouds have that flat formation? I don't think so. See the windows in it? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Neither is Donnie Daytona. <laughs> I remember him finding stuff like this. Okay. Well, you know, folks, we're at the end of the age. Could it be the Texas Cube coming down? <laughs> That's crazy. That is. Keep watching. Up. Oh, I thought you guys would like to see these morning skies yesterday. Nothing special. Now here we got something. This is in the south again. See, I kept this one because I believe we're looking at a couple different planet structures. We got the Pissity Green. <clears throat> and look at south. And so it's just bringing out the colors that are there. Colors already there, guys. And just highlight it. Now, when you highlight it, you see stuff like that circle. Planet, right there. Dark circle right there. Planet right there. What's that light source? This is the pinch between the two planets. You see stuff like that. So I can go back to the BB. Go back to the earth. Back up and what we just got done looking at. That's the original. That's what's really going on, folks. Up there, see that? Okay, the original. 10 o'clock in the morning, facing south. Pretty big. All right, I don't think I'll do a part four on this. I think I'll talk to you later. Three parts. Watch them all, okay? God bless. Got Jesus. Crazy filter. There you go. That's a crazy filter. <laughs> Talk to you later. God bless. Look at that. That's insanity. You guys got to have some fun in life. Stop being so serious. Jesus loves you.